It's a Monday night in April in Atlanta, early 1974 season. Ordinarily, the game wouldn't be on national TV, but Hank Aaron has 714 home runs. Everybody's waiting for him to go past Babe Ruth. People remember Milo Hamilton's call, often played on Braves radio. The great Vin Scully call with all the framing about the historical significance of it. Fewer remember that Kurt Gowdy was at the mic for NBC. And here it is. And another standing ovation, number five, Joe, for him. <laughs> He's going to set all kinds of records tonight. Fantastic. So you got to feel the excitement. He's already broken the National League record for runs scored. He scored a run in the second. He was tied with Willie Mays. The ball to him. Now they boo. Now Downing again. Downing's keeping that ball low and away from him. He's going to make him pull that ball, which is what Aaron's been doing, trying to get this big momentous home run. And uh, when he's hit normally, he'll go to right center field with that ball. Aaron, in his earlier days, used to hit more to right and right center than the left. Oh! There's a long drive. Ball's hit deep. Deep. It is gone. He did it. He did it. Henry Aaron is the all-time home run leader now. Listen to this. He did it. great moments in baseball history. Al Downing went into the Dodger dugout. This is going to be quite a delay here. Henry Aaron on a one nothing pitch his second time up after walking has broken Babe Ruth's record with a tremendous drive in the left center. No doubt about it when it left the bat. Well, what a story. He homered on his first time at bat in the first game. And there they are. The Babe's record has now been eclipsed, and Aaron has done it. And this will be his last year, he says. Well, the Babe has moved over with a big smile. I've been lucky over the years to sit in on big events. This has to be, I think, my supreme thrill in broadcasting tonight. I don't know about you, Bob, but when I heard Kurt say that's probably my supreme thrill in broadcasting, mm -hmm. that made an impression for a guy who was covering John Wood and Terry Bradshaw, the Olympics, Joe Namath, that was really made an impact on me considering his frame of reference. Yeah, the credibility, but also the trust, which I guess is a cousin of credibility, the trust that he had with the audience. His presence conferred upon an event, even though he never tried to impose himself on it, his presence signaled to the audience this was a big deal. And since he never overstated things, if he said, as you just noted, this is my supreme thrill, the audience was gone with that for sure. Yeah, it wasn't often that I don't think Kurt used the first person pronoun a whole lot because he didn't want to be the story. He was there to chronicle the game, but it made you stand up and notice that, wow, that's impressive.